Hi guys, it's Colette, and today in the continuing saga of the Sally Hansen Salon Chrome Kits, I'm going to be using the Peacock, but the only part of the kit that I'm going to be using is the powder, and in fact that's the only Sally Hansen product I'll be using. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see what other products I use to finally get a good result with this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to be applying my base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. And if you're going to do a full gel manicure, you can definitely go ahead and use the regular gel base that goes with the brand that you're using. For my third attempt with the Sally Hansen Salon Chrome, I'm going to be using the Peacock. Once again, inside the box, we have the applicator. We have the special effect top coat. And we have the jar of powder. And if you want to follow the directions, not included are the Miracle Gel in Blackie O and the Miracle Gel top coat. I'm not going to be following directions today, and I'm also not going to be needing the special effect top coat. And actually, this little makeup applicator is kind of wonky. So I'm going to use one of my own. It's got a slightly bigger head, it's slightly softer, and it's just a generic Target brand one that I picked up for my other pigments. And I'm going to be using actual gel polish cured under a UV lamp. I'm going to be using the Pink Jalac Beautiful Black as my base color. And the Pink Jalac Ultra Shine for my No Wipe Top Coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Apply a couple coats of the Beautiful Black curing for uh, 60 seconds in between each coat. And then I will be back to start applying the pigment. Um, just as a note, to get this opaque, you could try and do one thick coat, but with gel polish, it really is better to do two thin coats. I mean, that's true even with normal polish, but especially with gel, and, of course, also as with gel, try and be very careful. You do not want to get any of this on your skin. Okay, so I've done two coats of black and one coat of top coat, and now I'm going to move on to the powder. And this looks very light, but it should pop up over the black. Like with all these kind of powders, you only need a very little bit on your sponge. Not sure if you'll even see that, but once you start buffing it onto your nail is when the magic happens. And that's looking pretty awesome. Still not quite as bright of a blue as what is uh, advertised on the box, but pretty close. I would say both the Peacock and the Gunmetal were closer to what's shown on the box than the rather uh, unfortunate rose gold. So I'm going to continue buffing this into my nails. Once I'm done with all of them, I'm going to go back with the uh, cleaner side of the sponge and buff it in a little bit extra. 
because of course the nicest part of working with gel is that it's cured and it's dried and I don't have to sit here worrying about denting the semi-dry polish while I'm buffing in the chrome which was the main problem with trying to apply it over regular polish uh, following the instructions but I'm really liking the way this is turning out over uh, gel polish so brush away any excess powder and then I'm going to finish it all off with another coat of the Ultra Shine. So here is the finished manicure and for the first time with these kits I can say I'm satisfied. And that's because out of the kit the only thing I used was the powder. Um, just to give you guys a quick comparison with the box image, we're still not quite there but it's, it's related, it's in the neighborhood. I would definitely call this color Peacock and as pretty as it is on camera. It's even prettier in kind of indirect light, like outside, out of the sun, and uh, definitely does have a very reflective chrome finish. I would love to hear what you guys think of this whole journey through the Sally Hansen Salon Chrome Kits. Um, I still have a couple other things that I'd like to test, but I will probably wait a while before I do that because... I need to get some Halloween and October vids going before we get too much farther into the month. But um, I do want to get some yellow stopper and maybe try the pink over a black with the yellow stopper as the adhesive. So that's something to look forward to eventually. And if I do come across the other two kits, the uh, Mermaid and the Hollow, I'm going to try and pick those up. If you want to see the peel for this, I'm going to direct you over to my Instagram where I have fallen a bit behind again, but I'm not going to apologize for the times when I need to put the peels there because nobody seems to mind. And uh, some of them are even getting a lot more views on Instagram than my full tutorials are getting on YouTube, so maybe that's actually where they will continue to live. Let me know if you have a preference on that. And um, other than that, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.